in my opinion, they're extremely disorganized. Well, it looked like, I mean, when I saw that guy Laura there, about as badly as I felt for him, I also thought, there was an element of this guy, this is the man. You know, this was, this is, every, you know, everyone's kind of like, you know, the man who comes in and doesn't know, doesn't know what he's doing and makes assumptions and then makes life difficult for the, for the farmer or the business owner or whatever it is. Well, I mean, we have that case in point right here. Look how Vernon's life has been yeah. affected and his family and his community. This is affecting not only the people of Wisconsin, but, you know, I'm, I'm here because of my support of this issue and of course of Vernon. So this does affect all of us and it's so important that we pay attention to what is going on so that it doesn't happen anymore. Great. I think we should wrap up because I think we're going to have the, the panel discussion yeah. moving on here. And are there any more questions? Oh yeah, I can't see, so you know. Feel free, it's make like, this community. Yeah, it's a quick question. You know, if I was a juror on this trial, and not it would, let's assume I didn't even know Vernon in, in his case, you would think that the lack of information that's being withheld, is that enough for a juror to say, hold on, I don't have enough information with which to make a judgment on this? I mean, could that work in the favor of Vernon? I think that only through what we were talking about, their own speculation, because when we get to the end of this, there will be jury instructions, and they will be specific. And at this point, there may be uh, what's called, uh, well, there's so much information being prevented from being shown that we don't know yet what will be the end result. So, a, a trial has its own lifespan. So when the defense, when we put on our case, or we haven't even seen what the people are going to slip in, like today, on that board, uh, uh, on the listing area, they actually read out loud that there were members. So maybe, and hopefully when we put on our, mat, our, our case, we'll be able to bring about the relationship of those members. And so, I don't know. I don't want. I, I don't know what's going to happen yet. But it is an evolution. So, you know, I, I do hope that answered your question a little bit. Thanks. Thanks, Ajahn. Yeah. Appreciate thank it. Thank you. Thank you, David. Thank you all for coming out. Mark Baker and Alvin join us, and we're going to have a quick panel discussion about what's going on nationally in the food freedom movement. I'll make sure they do.